What's up, SAS Masters? My name's George, and today I want to show you a video editor called Moobly. This one lets you create short and long videos, plus it also includes templates. So I'm going to be diving deep into the video editor itself and not so much into the templates because I feel that it's not their strong point. So let's go jump over to the deal and then go check out Moobly on this video. So let's jump over to my desktop. All right, let's get started with the deal that's going on right now. And it starts off at $49 for a lifetime deal. And for many of you, that might be just enough. So let's go check out what that actually includes. Now, just a little quick heads up, because when you jump in here, you're gonna be see you're gonna be seeing alternative to Powtoon, and this has nothing to do with tunes. I don't think they even have a big library on tunes or icons for that matter. So don't like don't take that too seriously. All right, let's go into the plans. All right. So what you're gonna get in this right here, important things is it's up to H. 1080p quality, which is full HD. Um, if you are needing 4K, well, this is not for you, but if 1080p is enough for you, well, this could be a good deal, all right? So license tier one gets you one user, so you don't get that, that sub account type thing. 25 total downloads and exports each month. So like I said before, maybe that's just enough for most of you. Maybe 25 videos a month is, is more than enough, but if not, you will need to jump into license tier two. Now you get 25 automator credits, which are, they translate and they add subtitles to the video. Now, if you need more features and more videos, well, you jump into license tier two, which changes price, it's 129. You get five users, subscriptions with Mobly, and you get 100 total downloads, exports each month. So that's just more than enough. Um, unless you're doing like really small commercials and a bunch of them, then that might not be enough, right? You get 25 automated credits that doesn't um, expand anymore, but you get these extra features, which is the sub accounts, color removal, custom fonts and color subtitles, transcribe title, Google translate, screen webcam recording and text to speech. So you get those features when you jump into license tier two. Now, what changes with license tier three? Well, the users, the subscriptions for mobile. And if we go into tier five, well, you get 100 monthly subscriptions. Now you can start selling this and offering up a monthly or lifetime if you wish also, but that's the way that changes with license t over tier two. Okay, let's go jump over to Mobly. all right? This is the Mobly site right here, and I will show you really quickly templates. I, I don't think they're fancy. I wouldn't buy this for templates, plus they, they don't even have that many, right? So let me hover over these templates really quickly. And basically it's just like, text flying in, some boxes, um, like I said, nothing really fancy. Go into this. And like I said, it's just box coming in, box coming out, not so fancy. So that's not one of the main reasons I would buy Mobly. Okay, let's go into the editor and find out if it's actually good or not. So let's go create a new project and we are going to start from scratch. Okay, now it's going to open up this editor. Let me make it big right here. Now remember, this editor is based on the browser. I did not download Moobly, this is all based on the browser. So it opened up a site, you can see right here the link, and that is Moobly right there. Okay, so this is how it starts off. Basically, all video editors are kind of the same. You got your library on the left, this box right here. You got your player right here, what's going on. On the top, you got some tools. On the right, you got the properties for the elements that you select and the overall elements of this video. So for example, we have the stage properties right here. So if I needed a different size, if I wanted to use for Instagram or something like that, I could use four by three or one by one or just change that. 16 by nine is the standard size for like YouTube, all right? And on the bottom, we have the timeline. This is the most important part of all. This is what makes a good video editor or not, having a good timeline and working with that timeline. So I'm gonna be dragging in some elements right here so you can actually see the timeline moving and how we can drag and drop layers, change the timing and all of that. Okay, so let's go into library right here and we have some graphics that are already available right here. There's stock media and for example, let's just grab motion graphics. All right, let's grab this fire thing right there. Let's click play. Okay, that's the most graphic there. Let's add something else like a cartoon right there. Just drag it inside of here. Okay, there's that cartoonish guy there. And let's, that's fine. Let's drag it down here. 
the fire gone. Yeah, the fire's there. Okay. Um, what other things can we add? Library, stamps, web icons. Just something simple. And yeah, let's drag it in here. Okay, since we don't want that icon there, we are going to drag that anchor to the right. Okay, that's something I'm telling you though about the timeline that you can move it and move that around. All right. So there are several elements that we're viewing right here in the timeline, and it's based on layers. So that means if I move something to the top, it's going to move. So for example, we have this fire right here, which is, where is that fire? All right. So here's the fire. It's on top. All right. Let me click on this fire. I can move it right there. You can see it's on top of the letters, right? But let's just say we wanted to move that behind the letters. Well, we drag this down, right? So remember, like I said before, it's based on layers. What's on top is what you're going to view and it's going to cover it, right? In this case, we're, we're viewing the text, which is we got transparency, so we can view that there. Okay, now when we click on any one of these elements, we get the properties on the right. So you see this right here? Object properties. We got the overall properties, which is stage properties, and then we got the object, which is what I've selected right now. Now the hand has a tint. In this case, I can move it around if I wish. And basically, I don't know why it has the color. Oh yeah, we can change the color right here. All right, let's leave that there. The opacity, so make, if we wanna make it a little bit transparent there. You got animation properties. It's flowing in from the bottom, erasing and fly out from the bottom. So let's open up the expansion right here, okay? Did you see this right here on the timeline? I clicked on this little arrow and it opened up the time, the information for that object. Now we can hide these and show them. Now, right here, we're viewing these little lines, these white lines right here. That's the animation. We can drag these if you want to make it shorter or longer. Now, in my opinion, I think the animations are pretty simple, but I like that we can change the timing on them. So, for example, let me click right here. Remember, we're taking into consideration the hand, okay? Click play. The hand is moving, okay? Now, let's just say the hand that's moving up, we want it to be shorter. So it goes up faster. Go back. Did you see that? It moved faster just by dragging these little lines. Now, one of the elements that I dragged in here, which is this little anchor, let's add some animation to this one. Now, I just dragged this right here. There's nothing fancy going on. Let me drag it inside, make it a bit smaller. Okay. And I got the element selected. Now, I have this option right here on the bottom, which is add animation. We got animation to enter, which is the beginning and the exit for the ending, all right? And move and transform to move inside. Highlights and hands, drag. So let's enter a spiral in, all right? Here's the little timeline for the animation. Click play and it spiraled in. If I drag this animation and make it all the way, so make it super long, it's gonna do it slower as long as that video takes, okay? And if I wanted to, to make this anchor shorter, I just drag, make it bigger or smaller. I need to drag this to make smaller. Now I have the option to make it shorter, right? Not actually smaller, but shorter, okay? So there we go. It's easy animation. Again, I'm telling you, it, it looks good because you have these options on the timeline, but at the end of the day, I think this is some pretty basic things, not really fancy stuff, right? Now we have more options here on the left for each clip and animation that we have right here. We can hide. If we don't want to view it, we can lock it. The lock, the lock is good because maybe you have a lot of elements and there's a lot of things going on in the timeline and you don't want to move something by mistake. Well, you lock it, okay? And if you need to delete it, well, just click delete and it's gone, all right? Those are the basic features for the timeline. Now we can add more clips if we like right here. We added another clip, which would be this one right here. And we can start adding elements inside of that clip to go as long as we need, right? Remember, here's the timing. These are seconds, but we can make it longer or shorter, okay? We also have more options. Let's open up that clip. Uh, okay, here's the clip. Like I said before, we have more animations. We have the split. If we need to split something, we have the timeline. If we need to highlight there. And, and basically, that is the overall thing. Now, let's just say we, we dragged in something like type of a template. Let's get rid of this. Click and delete. Okay, let's work on these little options here on the top. We have the hand if we want to move something. We have the text. I'll just click inside of this box. I'll just say um, 
SAS master, right? We have the element pro properties here. The fonts, so these are the fonts that are available. All right, we got the font size, text color, centered, left, bullet points, etc., etc. We have elements right here. If you want to drag inside something like this, for example, let's put this inside of a square. All right, and again, the square is on top. We're going to use the layer to bring it down. Okay. Let's play. All right, drag it there. And now the elements behind it. All right, and here is the properties for that element. Not a lot of properties. We don't have rounded corners. We don't have shadows. And those are just things that you have to consider. This is, I like the timeline feature and how it works, but I think in overall the settings are pretty much basic. We need more things. We need rounded corners. We need shadows. We need more, for example, custom fonts and, and stuff like that. Let's go into the library just in case we find something interesting right here. So you got the business clips. See these right there. I guess let's drag one in here and wait for that to load. Okay, so it's dragged in here. Click play. Let me get rid of clip number two. All right, let's click play right here. So I dragged that there, but here are the elements for each one of these. So if I go to play, this is where we would edit all these elements there, right? So it's pretty cool that we have these little clips right there. Um, but again, it's pretty much basic inside of that sense all right now what happens if we want to record something enough of the timeline enough of that now we can also have the option to record right here we have the text to speech or record we can record the webcam the screen or the audio i haven't allowed any of these but okay i'll do it right now <laughs> all right so we allow those and we can do the webcam obviously i have it covered the screen if i wanted to record that or just the audio and i can select where this is going to grab the feed from so if I have another camera that's connected, I will have the option right here and use that. Also for the audio inputs, I have these options available and start recording. Now, pretty much basic. There's no options to blur sections. There's no options to like go fancy. For example, I record my screen on screen flow, which is way more advanced. And for obvious reasons, because it's a standalone app, which is downloaded, this is not online, but Overall, that is Moobly. What I have to say is I think it's pretty much basic. It's It could be enough for most of you. If this is all you need, just start dragging and cutting videos and just doing something pretty much basic, then this is for you. If you're looking for more advanced features, like you know what, you need to blur out screen like I'm doing, you need to have more options to blur some parts of the text, you need to do like more complex animations, then this would not be the deal for you. So. That is the way you would kind of consider this. So you can decide at the end of the day what is good for you or not. Now, there's the other option, the other, not the option, the other side of this, which is the back end office, which it controls the subscriptions and the sub accounts. Just to show you really basic right here is the subscription statistics, which basically it just shows you assigned subscriptions and available subscriptions. So I have four available subscriptions and I've assigned one, which is mine. Okay. And I don't know why that was there, but it's just, they want to make it look nice, I guess. Monthly new active returning users, monthly number of projects, and number of renders. Users, right here, that's where you would add them. You can expired and you can inactivate or revoke just by adding one right here and grant subscription to this user. The subscription information, so here's the subscriptions I have available. The admin log, all right, so what's going on? Have they logged in or not? and basic general settings okay so i just added my logos i think it's a pretty neat feature because it adds the logos to the player to the project section so right here i got my logo now so for the sub accounts they're going to be viewing the logo there but something that is missing is that the link is still saying movely.com so it's not fully white labeled and i'm not sure that going to be adding that because it doesn't say right here because if there would be something mentioned about c name about something about domain and nothing is mentioned about that all right so things to consider really quickly no questions about c name yet so something we have to consider there hope they add that c name that would make it more interesting because you're not just sending selling a subscription for moobly but you're actually selling a subscription for your own branding so that's pretty cool 
Well, overall, that is a player. I'm, I'm not impressed. Like I said before, if you're looking for something basic, then this could be a good deal for you. But if you're looking for something more complex, then skip this. This is not for you. Well, I thank you all for watching. My name's George. This is SASMaster, and I'll see you guys later.